How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another Requiem 3BF Tweaks playthrough. If you're not familiar with Requiem or 3BF Tweaks, just know it's basically a challenge mode Skyrim, and we are trying to complete the game with one life. Uh, we are going to be playing a Red Guard. Uh, this is Lala's famous build, the Blade Fury. Uh, if you don't know who Lala is, he is the creator of this lovely pack that we're playing, which is Lala Land. Went ahead and grabbed my starting items here. Let's go ahead and go underway. I am kind of in the middle of another playthrough right now. Not sure what the uh, sequence of videos being uploaded are going to be like. But I just kind of wanted to play a melee based character. Because melee bases, melee, melee characters are really fun what I enjoy the most and I am uh, getting ready to be gone for a couple weeks well really just gonna be gone for one week on vacation but I'm also gonna be busy this week before so I wanted to play while I had a little bit of time and record a little bit and maybe have a couple episodes uploaded while I'm gone maybe we'll try if not oh well we tried Just going to do our classic beginning shenanigans here. Oh, well, I guess we're going to sit on this freaking bench. Uh, I'm going to probably, like, not really cut much of anything out from this run. Okay, of course. Start with a mace and we get a better one. Take it, though. Mostly just don't have time to edit the videos this time around. Yeah, we're in combat with something. I don't know what, though. Oh, we need to take our perks. So, perks we're going to be doing... Lockpick. Evasion. And one-handed. So, the premise of this build is you go red guard with a steed stone so you get a bunch of stamina right off the bat so you have uh, an extra 50 stamina and 10 percent extra movement speed and then you go blessing of oriel because oriel gives 25 percent stamina regen and 25 magicka which you'll eventually be using like alteration and illusion spells and a little actually no i think it's just a, it's restoration and illusion um but uh, the main thing you're going for is like enchanting and really fast attack speed with swords later on. We'll use uh we'll use maces a bit early on just because we still have pretty good swing speed. Um, that's unfortunate. I was hoping for something a little more useful there. Uh, so the way Oriel works is. Oriel, uh, oh, actually, I just remembered something I need to do. Um, Oriel increases your attack speed uh, for, uh, like, for num not, there's like a certain limit of spells or whatever, like, you have to learn a bunch of spells, and you get faster attack speed. I think the first, like, milestone to hit is like four spells. So we'll take any spells that we can grab. Anything and everything helps. Oh, I thought he had a spell for a second. I mean, he does, but it's just the Dunmer Ward. Oh, those boots will look mighty fine on me. Man, these guys are fast. Yeah! Ah! You're as good as dead. Just wanted to take him out. So I could focus on two. 
Oh, I was gonna commit to an attack there, but the other one came in at the same time. The beauty of this build is being able to be so aggressive early on. I do need to watch my stamina right now, but in general, you can be really aggressive early. Uh, Elven Helmet, I think I will take that. I will take the lighter weight armor if the, uh, the armor difference isn't too big. Um, he had some nice bolts. I'm actually going to take those because we are going to get a crossbow. It's just like a little side weapon eventually. I know in Lala's run he started with one, but I don't think we need to start with one per se. I think we're fine with what we have. Um, I'm not really worried about being most efficient with my skill books, to be honest. When it comes to playing Dead is Dead, it's like, it doesn't really matter, because if you die, you never use the skill book to begin with. Might as well, I figured I just might as well use it. You picked a bad time to get lost, fool. I just get nervous on this terrain sometimes, just like getting I'll stuck on that tree or something. sword upgrade. So pretty much the main goal early on is the usual, you know, you just gotta get your levels in. But we're gonna be hitting up some of the white run camp areas. Uh, we would really like to do uh, Silent Moons as early as possible. Silent Moons can be a little scary though, but we definitely want Bouncer. Bouncer is a good weapon. But at the same time, I now have an Orcish Mace, so it's like the only thing I'd be getting is the enchantment, which the enchantment is good. Uh, Ebony Dagger, Bleak Wind Bluff, no need for that. Oh, that's right. We'll have to, like, mix pieces between, like, Elven and, like, Scaled early on. As those will be, like, the best armor pieces we'll find. I do find that light armor is quite lacking early on. Like, at least with... At least with heavy armor, you know, you have, like... You go from iron to steel, then it's like orcish, dwemer, or maybe dwemer orcish, one or the other. You should have more options, I feel like. It's pretty much the, the standard beginning here. But this build makes the standard beginning so much more fun. If I do say so myself. So just pumping evasion to 20. Get the dodge perk quick as possible. Because dodge perk is life. On evasion builds. Hopefully we get lucky when we go to white run. And they'll have a potion to like resist pierce or something. Because that would be really helpful. Aren't you worried so what was that? Two two-handers. Um, are they both steel? No, wait. I think they're both iron. What you gonna do? Huh? What you gonna do? You gonna die? Have to wait for the power attack on these guys, unless you do one of these. 
even then that was pretty risky. You ready to die today, huh? Ah! Ooh, that was a little scary. I usually try to like sneak. Sometimes you alert the third one by the the room. I don't want to fight three v one. I don't have to. This idiot. Oh yeah, hold on. Never mind. Don't get too close to that water. It's really deceiving when they're actually out of the water and able to attack. I've lost a character there before. Yeah, when they do that little taunt, it actually gives you a window to get in there and attack. Backing up for that power attack, buddy. I don't trust him. And he's got a steel war axe, which is scary. He takes, he takes a hit. I just felt a power attack coming. That's the power of this build. You guys probably, uh, most of you probably seen the stream that I did where I showed this build off, but I was hoping to <laughs> get a little bit further. Things were just getting good on that stream too, and I died in the dumbest way. Died to Ford power attack from a two-handed uh, greatsword. Don't think that's enough. No, I just need one more total insight. I feel like the swords really aren't even worth using until... I guess unless you're fighting like a bunch of light armored dudes. Even even still. I like the damage of the mace. Nice boots you got there. Yeah. Mm, yes. Okay, take one down so we can focus on this guy. How much damage does our sword do? 55, 53. We got the better one. We will keep the better one. Moments like this, I'll use a sword. I want her crossbow. Pretty good, uh... start, as far as, like... what enemies were fighting, the gear that they have. Um, put that on two. Save the game in case it's stupid. If only I could get the lock picking mod that I used to use. I'll fortify lock pick fair. That's actually pretty good. See, that's why we don't need to start with a crossbow. I did start with some lock picks as well. Just because I do find that if you're if you're not lucky to get lock picks in that first like uh, boss chest, then it's pretty hard to get lock picks early on. Okay. 
evasion to 20, and then one-handed to 20 is the next goal. Uh, one-handed probably to 25, and then focus on... Uh, focus on enchanting. I've not decided if I'm going to do smithing or not. Smithing is pretty good, though. Because early on, we can, like, guarantee get a decent weapon. We can also use it for the smithing traits to get, like, the faster swing speed. Yeah, we might give smithing a go. And then if we really want to go all the way, we can go down to uh, smithing stall run gear. Because this build would definitely benefit from uh, stall rim weapons. Now, if you are familiar with Lala's run with the Blade Fury, he was playing on an older version of F-Tweaks. There's been a lot of changes since then. Uh, stuff like wards uh, don't block as much from Dragon Shouts anymore, Dragon Breath. So we're going to have to play... It might be worth us leveling Restoration earlier and getting Adept Ward at least. Or maybe even getting Shalador's Mirror. No, Shalador's Mirror requires two hands, though, is the problem. Okay. We have to remember that we... Shit. You know what we didn't do? I went the long way around. Okay, now we got the dodge perk. This will make things so much easier. I'm going to put you down. <laughs> we are routed. You hear me? Dead. Got red guard boots on. Or just regular boots. Funny texture on them. No, no, the the book isn't where it's supposed to be. Sometimes it falls down here. Yeah, there it is. Did we loot the chest already? I think we did. Yes. Okay. Oh, no insight. We did get one handed to 20, though. That was quick. Now, it's only four levels. Now we just need... Well, we'll go ahead and get probably 25. Maybe grab the uh, first sword perk. Might be worth it. Get the uh, extra armor penetration, maybe. Or just get the flurry perk. Might be even more worth it, because the first sword perk gives like 7% attack speed, 8% pen. And then the flurry perk gives... 10% attack speed on the first one, and then an additional 15 after that at level 50. Which, that's pretty solid. Orgnar. Orgnar, are you listening? We got rooms and food. Of course. You want Redorans? Uh, I figure we're probably going to do Silent Moons. I'll do... Halted stream. And let's do White River Watch. We need to get insights. We need to get that enchanting to 50. I might even try to run an early Bleak Falls Barrow. Well, early ish. Because getting the Axe of White Run is actually really good. I'm going to go ahead and do the Bleak Falls Tower. I don't know if I'll do the inside of Bleak Falls Barrow. Probably not. I'll at least do the tower up here. Just because since we're going to Redoran's Retreat first, this is kind of like getting us closer to it.
Can I get a uh, healing poultice? Okay. Scaled armor. I was hoping to kill that one at least. See a lot of stamina here. You're a fool to test me. Last mistake. <laughs> I really thought I was going to be able to kill him first. I didn't mind running out of stamina if I had him dead. No more. You're as good as dead. Gonna split your belly. Kind of tempted to wear the scaled armor. Um, I'll take the bolts. They actually have some decent bolts. Hold on. Let's see here. Uh, what puts this at movement speed 106. 2% 2 movement speed. 105 movement speed is still pretty good. I think I want the protection. It's going to be pretty useful against the arrows. No insights. Damn. Very sad. Uh, we got gloves and boots of magic regen from that one mage. Let's see here. What bolts do we want to put on? I want to put on something strong. Off to Redorans first. It's probably worth just rushing the the archer. Come on. I just really don't want to get hit by him because I know if I get hit, I'm going to get rock joint. Just know my luck. I always get rock joint from wolves. It's very annoying. Yeah, I want to avoid that at all costs. I'll go this way. I can outrun a giant. Outrunning a saber cat's a little scarier. Plus, I think this is. Is this Adeptor Apprentice? Do we have enough? Doubt it. I don't think he'll get mad at me. Was it just like right down the middle? Oh my god, it was. Uh, greater insight. I'll take that. Dead goat, I was gonna say, probably from something. Gotta be wary of those kinds of things. You see a dead goat or a dead fox or something like that. You know it's something's around. What's the time limit left? This is why I usually rush <laughs> getting over here, so that I still have time on all of my uh, my buffs. 
I might even try to run... I might try to run Silent Moons before we even go to White Run. I don't know. Feeling feeling dangerous. We got decent armor rating. Still have decent amount of potions. We'll see how uh, Redorans goes. Maybe we'll get lucky and lucky or unlucky with a trickster. Lucky in the sense that we might be able to get a good staff, but unlucky in the sense that we might die to said staff. Okay, I think we're going to rush. I don't like going out here when I don't know what I'm dealing with yet. Oops, I need to not sprint jump. Okay, no range at least. Trying to not sprint jump in combat. Because it's not really a uh, vanilla feature per se. Uh, if you did probably notice that I removed... Oh god, I thought he would... I thought the wolf would last a little bit longer. Uh, I did remove the load screen mod because it didn't start the pause right away. And it was kind of annoying, so I'd rather just go back to opening the console. Okay. I need you guys not up each other's ass for just a moment. These damn orcs, too. Wasn't prepared for that power attack. I can't afford to power attack in this situation either way. I'll show you what a real orc can do. He's got perks too. Okay. That's it. That's all you got. Damn, he can take a beating. No one bests an orc. Yeah, do big dumb boy swings like that again. It's nothing. All right. Yeah, that was uh, that felt pretty good. So maybe I don't know. Do I want to throw away the run? <laughs> I mean, it's it's been a pretty challengeless run so far. This honestly, though, like even though it feels like really easy, I think this is like the most fun. This is the most fun time. This early of a level. Oh, the archer was out there. I'll have to loot him on the way out. I, lo I love early game viable builds. This is probably like one of the best early game builds. I'd be surprised if any other build feels this good at level one. Of course, I know I've already leveled up a little bit, but still, you get what I'm saying. Hey, healing remarkable. That's a sign. We should do Stendar. Hey, I'll take something. That's a little bit of armor pen right there. I think that's what he does, right? He just gives one-handed swords armor pen, or one-handed weapons. One-handed two weapons. Yeah, cool. I'll take it. Extra AP right off the bat. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's go to one-handed 25. Go health. And we're gonna grab. Oops. Come on. This beautiful perk right here. Okay, let's go let's go do silent moons. We'll either end this episode or end this character on silent moons. Well at least attempt it. 
Now that we have the power attack perk. Um, let's see here. I just don't like having that power on during certain uh, combat situations. Really, I don't like having it on during combat, but especially during what I know is going to be stressful combat. Uh, just because if you accidentally click it, it's not like an easy... You can't just hit tab to cancel out of it. Which is pretty annoying, if I do say so myself. If I had one more level, that'd be nice to put a level and point into restoration to have a ward. But that's okay. Looks like there's a staff out here. Oh god. That's not good. And she's resurrecting. It's not good because she has a cloak on her. And I can't I can't one shot her, so. Even the normal attack, power attack, isn't enough to one-shot. Um, no, I don't want... So, I don't want the help of the mammoths. No, oh, wait, hold on. There we go. We would have taken so much damage if we continued to fight while they had the uh, the cloak up. Thankfully, you can just let it run out. Cloak spells are really annoying to deal with in melee. Okay. like to put another quality bolt on. I can't really see where the enemies are coming from right now. Actually, you know what? I kind of want to say, well, I'm not going to have a lot of time to be shooting anything at Ron. I'll tell you that much right now. Okay, is that a scroll or a staff? That one's got the ranger perk. I swear I'll kill you. This one's stupid. Dude, what is up with these mammoths? the other bandit die? So like right here. Summon skeletal soldier. That'll be good. Okay, cool. That'll actually help. Let's put that on. I want that for dealing with Ron. Just enough to distract him. Shit. Two more archers. There's Ron. Yeah, this is annoying. I'm almost tempted to uh, summon my dude just to get around Ron. Okay, I think we might do that. I want to break Ron's bow more than anything, but that other archer is making things a little more challenging. Oh shit. Now that we've got Ron's attention, though, we can just... 
Lucky hit. I'll carve you in I want to get away from that archer. Look, we got matching maces. You just have a lot more defense than I do. Just making sure there's no rocks near me. Give up while you still can. This ends now. Let's see what you've got. Stupid ass archers. I mean, I'll probably get one shot by Ron either way, but still. Dude, this archer is really annoying. It's time to die, dog. Just die already, bastard. I need to uh, conserve a little bit of stamina here. Let's go. Bouncer. Wait, Bouncer does less damage? No, it doesn't say. What to say? Okay, where's this freaking archer? This is the end. Probably out of bows, out of arrows, I mean. Gotta be careful from an enchanted dagger. Alright, let's go wrap up. Yeah, she's out of bolts. Let's go wrap up, uh... Silent Moons. Yeah, that's a pretty good Silent Moons run. I mean, we had to run super far away from Silent Moons, but that's what you have to do when you only have one life. I think that's everybody. I thought I remember seeing two more marksmen. And that was one plus Ron. There might be one more person. And I'm assuming whoever is shooting fire bolts and lightning bolts was using scrolls. Yeah, it looks like... That's everybody. Oh god. Hopefully the bear's not inside here. That would be most unfortunate. Yeah, I might actually wait on the smithing books, maybe. I don't know. I had my whole spiel about not needing to, to wait. What the hell? Yeah. Fuck the levels. Let's get the levels now. Doesn't really make a huge difference anyways. Now we just have the interior left. And that makes for a pretty good first episode, if I do say so myself. This build's so freaking good. Oh, still have to unlock them manually. Wow, we got a lot of insights from that. So now we can go one-handed to 25, and then I think what, we just focus all into enchanting here for a little bit? If I'm forgetting anything else, oh well. No level from that? Interesting. What was that? Thought I heard something. <laughs> Freaking bouncer proc on a... I could really use a bounce right now. it for uh, first episode. Not too bad so far. This is kind of how this build usually goes.
get our last little insights here. Ooh, an undying breath. Interesting. Some better boots. Let's see if we can uh, manage this adept lock. And it's around there somewhere. There we go. Nice. And one point lock picking is so good. And potions galore. This really helps out. Oops, I need to take that. This will really help out with uh, these early dungeons. All right, cool. Sick. We'll pick up in the next one. We'll finish up some more of the white run stuff. Work on enchanting. Go head over to Vunchenzel and get to taking on Bleak Falls Barrel pretty soon. Try to go through the main quest. Hell yeah. Let's get it. See you guys in the next one.